Hey everybody, it's John from the Gloucester Library, and for today's Let's Draw, let's draw a scuba diver. Alright, let's get started. So what I'm going to do is have my scuba diver swimming, and their body's going to go this way. So we're going to see them from the side, head here, and their flippers here. So let's start with um, the shape of their um, head. So I'm going to do the back of the head. Kind of like that. And then the face. I'm going to start with, um, for the rest of the face, I'm going to do the uh, goggles. Kind of poking out here. And then the respirator poking out here. And then have it go down into their jaw. Comes across and up. Now it doesn't look like much with those little bumps, but now what we're going to do is go in and draw the details of it. So the goggles are going to curve around like this and have another line that curves around. So now you see that's where the eyes would see through there on the goggles. And then a little square shape for the strap that wraps around their head. Let me put like a little line here where you can, there's another part of the strap that you can pull and adjust it, make it tighter. And then I'm going to do the um, respirator. And that's like a little cylinder shape. So I'm going to draw a line here for my that part of the cylinder. And then a line here. So you can see now it looks like a little, little can type shape. One more line just to show that you know it's a little segmented there. And then I'm going to draw the uh, tank on their back. So I'm going to draw that starting right about here, right, give it a little space for the neck there between their head and the tank, so they're able to move their head up when they're swimming. And I'm going to start with a curved line to the top of the tank, and then have it come back, the bottom part, have it come back, and another curved line for the bottom of the tank. And I'll do a curved line here. And maybe a couple curved lines here just to show where um, it attaches to their back. There's going to be a little belt we're going to draw there. And then there's a part here on the top of the uh, tank where our uh, respirator has a hose that hooks to it. We'll do like a little rectangle shape here. Maybe a couple lines in it for uh, showing where it connects to or our uh, air tank there, or oxygen tank, and have like a little line kind of curve around and up into that respirator. And now I'm going to draw uh, the arm right here. I'm going to have it just kind of come back, kind of like in a relaxed state. They're more going to be using their legs to swim in this one. So I'm going to have a little shoulder here, and have it come back, the upper arm, come back, and then a little elbow bump, and then the forearm, and have it come back, the rest of the forearm, the other line there, a little line here to separate them, and then there hand's going to be kind of at rest, so I'll have like a little line here for the top of the thumb, and that part of the hand, and another little line there for the other side of the thumb inside, and that side of the um, your palm, and then another line for like the inside. And my thumb is just going to come down in a couple of segments. And I'm going to do some little knuckles, little U shapes for knuckles, U's or C shapes, little crescent shapes like that. And just have the fingers come out and just be at rest. Because he's not using them to swim right now. And then I'm going to kind of connect the line here on my shoulder. Because that's kind of where the um, there's a seam there in the swimsuit. I'll kind of do like a little line going down the middle too. 
with a little seam in the swimsuit coming all the way down to the wrist and then a little line here so the hand is going to be bare but the um, the end of the little swimsuit sleeve ends there and I'll have their neck come down here and bend up to meet here where the tank is sitting on top of their back and we'll have their chest come out here and then their stomach and we'll have the little belt wrapping around here where we're connected to our air tank maybe like a little belt loop showing in there and then we'll have the um, thigh of the leg facing us so the bottom oops I don't like that let's try again I kinda slid a little bit on that one and a little bump there for the knee right there and then have it kinda curve up right like that and this one's going to be kind of up the bottom of the leg, the uh, calf and the ankle and the shin. So I'm going to do the shin here coming up and then the calf down to an ankle and then this one on the other side I'm going to have it down a little bit so it's going to come down to a knee Oops. and then the top of it kind of curve up and meet the body meet that leg there and have that come out and the shin calf down to the ankle and then this other arm maybe I'll have it like holding um, like a flashlight or something so I'm just gonna have the forearm sticking out because the arm is gonna be back like this one but the forearm will come out right here and see how like it tapers down thicker here, thinner down there and then I'm going to do like the little thumb shape coming out like that so there's the, the that part here and then the one, two segments of the thumb and we're drawing there and it's going to be um, wrapped around a flashlight so I'm going to have the flashlight kind of coming out like this and curve a little curve here to show the cylinder type shape of it Maybe like a little curve here have that come out curve in and then draw like a little circle inside maybe like a couple light lines to show there's light coming from it and then the fingers are going to be grasping it like this so we'll have like one two three four and they don't wrap all the way across, it's just kind of wrapped around and you see just like the ends of the fingers. And then the rest of the palm, maybe like a little line here to show this part on the thumb. There we go. And don't forget to do a line across just to show the end of the little swimsuit sleeve. And I'm also going to do like a little line here just to show where like the... Um, they're wearing like the, the headgear that wraps around their head. That's why we don't have hair. So it wraps around and it's going to kind of wrap around underneath the jaw here as well. So their face is sticking out and their hands are sticking out. Now their feet, the feet are going to have the flippers on them. So first I'm going to draw like the shape of their heel the little heels there, a little bump for the heel and then the flippers are going to come out like this. So like this one I'm going to have it like it's um, kind of curving a bit because their leg is coming back down in the middle of a stroke so this one's going to go curve like this and this is going to come out and curve up and when it finished like where their foot is fitting into it their foot's in there more but this is just where the top part shows through the flipper 
and then the shape of the bottom of my flipper, almost like a little bit of a diamond, and have it curve around the meat. So you can see how it's kind of curled back, and then a couple little lines in there to show the little ribs of the flipper. And then we'll do the same thing with this one. I said it's not going to curve back. This one is kind of extended because that's in the middle of a um, you know a paddling phase. So that'll just come out. Do a little triangle shape. Have it come back in. And let's do like the little shape of our foot going into it. And this one you can do those little lines here too for the ribbing and the flippers. And since our foot does stick out a little bit more in there, if you you, you don't really see it because these ribs kind of come up and follow to the top there of it and the foot is inside and it's like a solid piece on the flipper so you don't really see any of it bulging out there and I might correct this one this kind of looks like it's kind of a bump in the middle there I wanted to just just go across there we go maybe do like a little spot here where it connects at the bottom a little spot like a little strap where it connects through the back of the foot around the back of the foot like that I'm going to do like a little line here a little line here just to bring attention to the, the joints of the knees and like we had the little seam here that went down the arm I'm going to have a little seam that goes down the leg and same with this one There we go. All right, so there's our scuba diver. And let's see. Oh, I think there's another line. And it's supposed to come out here, too. Now let's make that line come out the top and curve down into the top here. There we go. Yeah. All right, I think that's it. I think that's all the parts. And now what we can do, if you want, you can do like a few little circles for like bubbles coming from our uh, scuba diver. And let's uh, color our scuba diver in. So I'm going to start with just coloring in a uh, blue for the uh, ocean behind and I'm going to use an airbrush tool just because it allows me to fill in space really quickly so you're not stuck watching me color in a whole bunch so just really quick whatever you're using color pencils um, you know uh, crayons and things like that just color in lightly first and then where you like say at the bottom if I want to say it's darker at the bottom of the ocean then go back and press down harder with your your crayon or color pencil to make it darker there now this is going to take much longer to do with uh, crayons and colored pencils because you can't really thicken the end of them like I can on a computer here but just take your time you don't have to color the whole thing you can just color say a bit around your scuba diver just to show that they're surrounded by water if you like and then I'm going to give them, um, I think, like a yellow scuba tank. Yellow color. And then color it in nice and light. And then press down harder at the bottom for where the shadow. Maybe I'll pick like a deeper shade just to accentuate that shadow. There we go. And you can do that by picking like a... Um, an orange or a light brown color to be like the shadow there and then the lines uh, they're coming out of it and the respirator I'm gonna make those like a gray color so I'm gonna go in and just lightly color them in maybe I'll make the goggles the same 
There we go. And same with the flashlight. Let's make that gray as well. Make it simple. You can color in whatever uh, colors you like. I'm just doing that so I don't have to pick a, a bunch of colors while I'm going along. And now I'm going to pick like a darker gray or even a black to do the um, shadows. Just press down harder. Just to show the, the shadows, like where parts are meeting each other. And like the bottoms where, you know, the light's coming from here, from the top, so the bottoms will be darker. Things like that. Maybe I'll go back and do that yellow again for the light coming from my flashlight. Just nice and light. There we go, just a hint that there's light coming from it. And let's say, uh, let's draw their uh, skin. I'm going to pick a skin tone here in color. Lightly at first. So the face and hands that are sticking out. And then go ahead and press down harder to do the shadows. There we go. Just get my little shadows in there. There we go. And then for oh, for the belt, maybe that little belt I'll make gray as well. Go ahead and color that in light. And then come back in with black for the shadow. There we go. How about the swimsuit? Maybe we'll make the swimsuit. And usually they're a dark color, like a black or a navy blue. So maybe I'll do like a really deep blue for this one. And let's color it in light at first. There we go. And then go back in and press down harder for the, the shadows. It's like a shadow where the bottom of the jaw, like the bottom where the strap is, where their arm is meeting their body, and the bottom of their arm, and shoulder, underneath the tank, where it's on the body, and the bottom of this arm, maybe this leg that's partly covered. Let's go ahead and color that in. Darken it in good. Bottom of the leg, the foot, bottom of the leg here. And this arm where it meets the body. There we go. Got some shadows. And, oop, missed a spot. There we go. Maybe for the flippers, maybe we'll make them like a yellow to complement our yellow um, air tank. So I'll like lightly color them in yellow to start and then I'll go back and press down harder for the shadow and then maybe pick that um, darker color like a brown or maybe like an orange if you don't have a brown or color like this or a tan just so you can do the shadows like we did on the tank there alright there's our scuba diver I hope you enjoyed today's Let's Draw, and I hope to see you next time.